If you've been using Windows 11 and you never faced this type of issue, which is the blue screen um, critical process died, you are so lucky. Because um, as I showed you, this current computer I just um, updated from Windows 10 to Windows 11 weeks ago, and I have this issue. But I have another computer that I've been using over a year with Windows 11, I never get this type of issue. But in today's video, I am going to show you several methods. So I I hope that one of them works for you. Uh, I'm going to show you all the tricks and you can do to, to bypass this issue. First thing you need to do, you need to restart your computer. If it allows you to restart your computer, just by keep pressing the power button, now you have the part the you have access to getting inside of your computer you can try this option that i'm going to give you but in case you don't have access to get into your computer you only need to uh, use the power button to turn off and restart your computer you repeat that three times and you will have access to um to get into the recovery mode now step number one we're going to 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 try you need to restart your computer while you're restarting your computer keep holding the shift button so you can get to the uh recovery um screen and uh, once you have um access to the recovery mode now you can release uh the the shift button now first option we're going to try uh there is you need to go to troubleshoot once you enter into troubleshoot you're going to try the first option that is given uh by clicking on advanced settings uh the advanced option you're gonna use the startup weeper this is the first um thing you need to try when you're having this issue because this will diagnose the computer itself and see uh any issue that is found it will be fixed by itself and uh, after you you try this option which is startup repair just click on that and give it a little bit, a little bit more time for that to be uh, reviewed uh by the computer and now after after you try this option and uh, your computer still uh, does not work now you will switch to the um, other option the second option which is going to be the startup setting once you enter into the startup settings you will click where it says uh, we start to get to the startup settings and uh, you are going to choose different um option from the startup settings first you need to choose the first one which is the the, the number eight disable any uh, launch any malware protection you can also choose the nine the, the ninth option which is disable automatic restart after failure and lastly if your computer still does not work you're gonna choose the fourth option which is enable safe mode and once you choose number four you will have a screen similar to that where on the corner it will say um, safe mode and once you get into your computer you will go to search you will type disk cleanup okay um, as you see on on the screen disk cleanup and uh, you will give a little bit more time for that to be uh, processed and after you have that selected any apps you see or any uh, thing you have into this box that you don't use or you don't need you only need to go ahead and delete them okay um select and have them deleted okay let me select on that i don't really need that so any file i don't need i'm going to delete um that from the computer now you need to go and search and type run you're gonna type this prompt which is msdt.exe space uh, underscore or slide which is id device diagnostic okay and uh, you click on okay you will have this specific screen 
and uh, you can review that and see and you're gonna click on ok and see if there is any drivers or anything on uh, that needs to be diagnosed the computer will automatically do that next you will uh, click where it says delete temporary file and this window will be opened you can uh, review that click on where it says clean up recommendation uh, any file that need to be uh, removed they will be showing there but my computer just restarted so that's why I don't have any file or temporary file or unused file uh, into that option uh, um, section okay so now uh, you need to go on search and type control panel once you enter it into control panel you will uh, go where it says um, program and features once you go on program and features any apps that you find there you just download or installed uh, into your computer so after that you have this issue so you can right click on 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 the one that you see that is very new and you can uninstall a this specific app to see if that will uh work okay now and then you need to go there on the, the settings under uninstall you can uninstall uh under windows update you can uninstall any update if previously your computer was working well and after an update you have this issue you can go there and update the last update okay you you delete the last update from your computer and see if that will work okay and in case that still uh does not work so you're gonna have another option which is the fifth you're gonna try the fifth uh option which is we start your computer by keep pressing the shift okay and you're gonna have the recovery section um now where you're going to go you're going to um troubleshoot and once you enter in troubleshoot you will go to the advanced option now you will go to the comment section and once you get to the comment section we have a series of um comment that you will need to enter i will leave them uh under the description so you can have them so the first one is a uh, boot rec that exe space after you enter space it's gonna be forwarded slash okay fix mbr the second one is fixed boot okay you enter it the same way but at the end you put fix boot and you hit enter after each command you enter remember to press um to press enter so this one is bootwork exe uh, space slash we build bcd and then after you enter that hit enter that will analyze and review uh, your computer now the, the the fourth one that you will try which is going to be boot sec okay you put that this is on the screen boot sex space slash um nt60 sys and uh, this one is gonna be chess uh to check your disk you're gonna enter the, the the way you see it on the screen chk dsk space uh, uh slash f slash r space c uh column and wait until that is um, completed and you will also have uh, a last one which is going to scan your entire computer but you just uh, scan the disk now you're gonna scan the entire computer by entering this um, one and after uh, you you scan now you did the last one you're gonna hit exit and then you close the window and now if your computer still does not work you're gonna go to the last uh, before the last one which is the six you go into advanced option uh you can uninstall any update by clicking on update latest quality update or on its latest feature update and now you click on uninstall feature updates okay and and the last 
And the seventh method is troubleshoot reset your computer by removing everything you have on your computer. You can choose cloud or local if you have, uh, um, but my I use uh, local and uh, fully reset your com my, uh, my computer. You can do the same, which is the last option you have if your computer still does not work.